Okay, now, the story of Paul starts off with two geeks from England that go all the way to the United States, so they can travel to all the biggest hotspots that they've heard about in their whole entire life. They've heard of all the, like, the Comic-Cons, the, all the alien sightings and all that, at Roswell, the black mailbox, and all this stuff. And they really want to just check all this stuff out, because they've always dreamed of. So they go there, they do all that stuff, they go to Comic-Con, and on the way, they meet a alien. Named Paul. Look at that. They meet an alien named Paul, and they reluctantly uh, try to help him get back home. Pretty much that's the story. They pick up a, uh, another person, played by Christian Wig, and then another person later on, but I won't spoil who that is. Uh, and really, I thought the story was, you know, pretty obvious. You know, it's just a, you know, alien trying to get back home from the humans because they're evil. And of course, you have the people that want to stop him, like Jason Bateman. Uh, who is the main guy that really wants to stop him, and the two cops that follow him, Bill Hader, and can't remember the other guy's name, but he was in I Love You Man, and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, and really, I, I, I thought the story was, like I said, fairly simple, but really funny. It really was. It really was a fun story, so I really liked it. So let's go on to the acting. Oh, almost forgot to get my score. Sorry, this is still a new uh, review system to me. I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. I really like the story. So let's go on to the acting. Okay, now the acting in the film, of course you have the two main guys, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, who of course sparkled as a team in uh, Hot Fuzz and as friends in uh, Shaun of the Dead. And they, they were fantastic in them. They're real life friends too, so that's awesome when real life friends actually play friends or buddies or just like a, a team in a, another movie. I, I love that. And this, again, they sparkle, really do. You can definitely tell they're friends. Uh, they, they, they're great. They, they both are great. Of course, Simon Pegg you've seen more of than Nick Frost, but Nick Frost is great. I really do like Nick Frost. He's funny as hell. Maybe not in this movie. I, I'll get to that later on. Uh, but he's funny as hell in Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. And uh, Simon Pegg definitely holds his own. He's definitely funny. Uh, of course, you have the voice of Seth Rogen as the Paul alien. He's great. I, I love Seth Rogen. I don't care what anybody says. I really do like Seth Rogen. Christian Wig is funny as hell. She actually turns into a... Uh, uh, for people that play video games, if you play Bullet Storm that just recently came out, out of nowhere she starts turning into friggin' Grayson Hunt from there, where she starts making up her own retarded uh, curse words and stuff, and it's hilarious. I love, I love when she starts doing that. She's like, "Hey, dick milk," and it's just, I think it's funny. I love Kristen Wiig, uh, and you know she's great. Jason Bateman plays a pretty badass character. I, I thought he was great. Uh, he was pretty funny, but he was also pretty badass. You know, he had that. He had that spark about him, you know, it was just like, he didn't do much action, but just the way he looked, it was like, yeah, he's badass. Uh, Bill Hader's in it, he's great. The other guy I was talking about, I can't remember him. I think it's like Joe something something, I can't remember his name. Sorry, guy, but uh, if you're listening to this review, sorry, but you're great. And overall, the acting is just fun and great. I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed the acting. Oh, and I don't want to spoil who else is in it, but, you know, they kind of spoil it in the trailer. I'm just going to say 9 out of 10, though. Let's go on to the, because this is a comedy, I'm just going to say the comedy of the film. What was it? Was it funny? I don't know. Let's go on and see. Okay, now the comedy in the film, the laughter, whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm going to say right here, I, it was a little disappointing because I thought it could have been a little funnier here and there, but I thought it was a, a funny as hell movie either way. And I was really judging it based on the two main characters, Nick Frost, I mean, two main uh, actors, Nick Frost and Simon Pegg, because, of course, Hot Fuzz and uh, Shaun of the Dead are two of my favorite movies of all time, because they're just amazing movies and just so much fun and funny, too. So safe to say, I thought this movie was going to be hilarious, but it was, just not as hilarious as those other two movies. But I shouldn't have expected that, because it's not directed by Edgar Wright, so who made those films. It's directed by Greg Matoli. I, I can't I can't pronounce his last name, or I can't really remember it. I remember it's Greg Matoli or something like that. Uh, he directed Adventureland, which I don't really like. I didn't really care for Adventureland, but I loved Superbad, which he also directed. That was a funny as hell movie. I loved that movie. So, you know what? I, I don't... Even though it wasn't as funny as I thought, it was still a lot of jokes work. Some of them kind of missed, but a lot of them were funny. A lot of them were references, too. So if you don't like references, like, oh, we referenced to this part in Star Wars or something, it was like, eh, you know, you might not care for it. But I thought the references here and there were really funny. Some of the just jokes with Paul were just hilarious. And overall, I thought it was a very funny movie. Not as funny as I hoped, but still a lot. I mean, a lot of freaking laughs, really. Some laugh out loud moments. And just really just a fun movie. I'll get that in it. I get to that in entertainment. But really just a 
really funny movie. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it eight point five out of ten for laugh, uh, comedy. I was hoping it would be a nine point five or a ten, but I'm gonna give it eight point five. Still really funny. Let's go on to the entertainment of the film. Okay, now the entertainment of the film. I'm gonna say it right here. Like I said earlier, I was really entertained by this film, even when it wasn't laugh out loud funny. I thought it was a really fun movie. Some of the action scenes that there were in here, like there is a couple of little action scenes, very small, but like some of the chase sequences were still a lot of fun because there's a lot of jokes within them and. Some of the references really caught me by surprise. I was like, wow, that was actually really, really clever. Like, there's one with Steven Spielberg. I'm just going to leave it at that. You can probably guess it now. I shouldn't have said that, but, you know, it's actually pretty clever. But, you know, a lot of it is really fun. Even when it's not funny, it is really, really fun. It is funny a lot of the time. I'm not saying this isn't like a, you know, a two or three laugh out loud uh, mo- uh, movie moments, and that's really it. I'm saying really, there's about maybe nine or ten really funny mo- uh, moments, and then other ones that were like, eh, that's kind of funny, and oh, that was pretty clever, I like that. And all throughout the whole film, it was really entertaining. So, in conclusion, I thought the movie was a lot of fun. Oh, I forgot to give the entertainment score. I'll give the entertainment, uh, you know, I'm going to give it a nine out of ten. I really enjoyed it. So there you go. There's my review. Overall, I really like the uh, movie. If I had to give a score, I think the score would be about uh, four a three, a 34.5 out of a 40. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the review. I, I did, I guess. Thank you and goodbye. Go check this movie out. So do it now because hopefully we'll get a, a third movie from Edgar Wright and these two guys. Hell yeah. So anyway, thank you and goodbye.